the letter we're going to talk about today is the letter Q. Now, Q is a tricky letter. We talked about this yesterday, but Q doesn't go anywhere without its mate U. They stick together um, through thick and thin because Q couldn't make a sound without the letter U. All right, so here is the letter Q, the uppercase. It looks like a, uh, an O with a line hanging off the side. Let's put that up there. Funny way to hold it. All right, and then this letter is a lowercase Q. Now, sometimes you don't see it. It doesn't look like this. Sometimes it has a tail that flips backwards. So I'm going to write it for you because um, it's better if you just see it all together. Let me get it again. I don't like, um, I want to show you so you know. So they have it and it looks like this. And sometimes you'll see it that like that, but that looks a lot like the number nine. So a lot of times you'll see a lowercase q and it has a tail that goes backwards. That's what you'll see it mostly and how we're going to learn to write it because um, this way you don't get it confused with the number nine. And you will see it both ways, though. All right, so Q says qua when it's put with you. Like in quilt or quill or queen or question or quiet. All of those start with the letter Q, U, and make the qua sound. So our book today is called The Quiet Quail. And you see, here's Q and there's U behind it. Q and U behind it. Heather Feldman wrote this book and it's illustrated by Rusty Fletcher, which means he drew the pictures. Quincy is a quiet quail. He likes to do quiet things. Quincy likes to snuggle with his favorite quilt and listen to the quiet pitter-patter of the rain. Quincy likes to sit quietly and read. Quincy likes to take quiet walks. Sometimes on his quiet walks, Quincy meets his friend Dottie Duck. Dottie is not very quiet. In fact, Dottie is quite loud. Quack, quack, quack. Hi, Quincy. Quack, 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 shouts Dottie. Hello, Dottie, whispers the quiet quail. Quincy and Dottie sit in the, dark, in the park. Quack, 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 shouts Dottie. What a beautiful day! Quack, quack, quack. Dottie quacks and quacks till Quincy's head hurts. Dottie, please quit quacking, says Quincy. But Dottie is quacking so loudly she does not hear the quiet quail. Quincy decides to go for a swim to drown out Dottie's quacking. He spreads his quill on the grass and jumps to, in the pond. Suddenly, Queenie, the dog, trots by. She grabs Quincy's quilt and runs away. My quilt, cries Quincy. Some, someone stop, Queenie. But Quincy's voice is too quiet. No one hears him. Queenie runs right past Dottie. That's Quincy's quilt, quacks Dottie. Catch Queenie, quick. The other animals hear Dottie's loud quacking and they chase Queenie. Queenie is quick, but the other animals are quicker. They snatch Quincy's quilt from Queenie's teeth. They give the quilt back to Quincy. Quincy thanks all the animals for rescuing her quilt, especially Dottie. Your loud quacking saved the day, Quincy tells Dottie. And for, the one, and for once, the quiet quilt is happy to have such a noisy friend. All right, here's some things that start with Q, like queen, or um, we have Quincy and quail. Um, you have, hmm, let's see what else starts with Q, a quarter. Okay, here's some more. Quarter, the queen has a quarter. Q is for quail and quilt for your bed. Q is for queen for with a crown on her head. Q is for quack and a quarter to spin. Q is for quarrel you have with a friend. This is an argument. Hooray for Q, big and small, the quaintiest, quirkiest letter of all. All right, I hope you have a great time learning about Q. Bye, guys.